Hi. How's everyone? I've just had a little bit of a bizarre day today so far. Like uh, this morning I was, I have this little espresso machine and I put it on my stove and I, <laughs> there was a part I forgot to put back together. And as a result, the whole thing was fluttering all over and oh God, it was a mess. And yeah, sometimes days just start weird, but now I'm uh, parked here in Lagos and I met a nice friend of mine. We had a nice chat. So it's been a little bit like uh, like this. But what I would like to talk about is complaining. Whether I think because there are different forms of complaining. I know that there are some people who think that complaining per se isn't a good thing. And also some approaches where it's say never complain. I think it's not that easy because sometimes complaining uh, shows us things we, we, we are not happy about. I for sure think that sometimes maybe we have some other feelings underneath and instead of kind of being with those feelings, we complain. And I think it can get to this point where maybe if we always, you know, if we have this perpetual sense of frustration or resentment that it could show up in constant complaining about everything. And that can be then really tiring for other people. But on the other hand, maybe just always finding everything great and being grateful for everything and not daring to look at the things we would like to complain about or that don't feel good to us is maybe then the other extreme of those two things. I, I know, for example, in Ireland, it's just part of the deal that you always complain about the weather and you, but that's more like something to talk about, I guess. So it's a funny thing because I think it can be very tiring to be in you know, company with someone who's always just complaining about everything and no matter what. And maybe also even if you give them some suggestions for change, they keep on complaining about the same things. But there is, I really liked Carla McLaren's book on emotions, the language of emotions. And she says it's a good idea to consciously complain. She had some lovely exercises that you even could do on your own, like being in your room and talking, complaining to your furniture and just as a way to 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 get it all out and not having it festering and maybe being aware of what you are upset about. And because if we don't get aware, we can't change it. So I would say if complaining is a way to become aware and then trying to see whether we can change something about it, then that that is really useful. But if it just gets a habit where we just complain without changing anything and it's just an outlet in a way that complaining is the escape that we don't have to change anything. As long as I complain about it, with everyone else, because people love to complain together, then we don't have to change something. So it's a tricky one, isn't it? So I think, yes, uh, don't go to the extreme that you don't complain anymore, but somehow find a way to deal with the upset, look at the emotions and see whether you can change something about it or not. And if you can't, maybe it's about radical acceptance, which means <laughs> not complaining about it anymore. I don't know. So what, what's your take on complaining? Do you find it really exhausting when people complain too much? Do you complain or do you tell yourself uh, never to complain? I would love to know how you deal with that. That was Anja Kersten, life coach and artist. De take good care. Bye-bye.